Alrighty, <clears throat> this uh, vacuum variable capacitor tuner unit that I showed earlier is getting ready for its final finish. I've got the plastic covers all cut out for it and it's all ready to go on here. Uh, once again, we've got an electrode over here that feeds the bottom of the loop. Then we have the insulator, which is a big plexiglass block, bulletproof plexiglass. And then that goes to the first capacitors and there's also a wire underneath it here that goes to the switch that parallels the two capacitors or just variable. That way it's from like 20 puffs up to uh, 800 puffs, 160 meters to uh, 40 meters. The construction uses a lot of copper ribbon I made up. I cut this out of a sheet of copper. It's two inches by about 40 thousandths. And what I did here was I laid two copper sheets together to cut the inductance down I made a heavy duty conductor that then comes out from the bottom of both capacitors goes through this copper bus bar and comes up to the copper electrode the way I did it was I took a Dremel tool and I cut a slot into the copper on both sides so that the pipe clamp goes all the way around and grabs it really tight it's a difficult thing to do, but the idea is that you can get a real good tight connection on here and really pinch the bejesus out of the copper. So that's what I wanted to show there. In any case, we're gonna put the covers on it and then we'll mount this on the mast. The two inch PVC mast fits in here and I've segmented this so a hose clamp will make it pinch down real nice and tight. So this is one of the hose clamps and what it does is it just grabs the uh, two inch pipe to hold it into place. Everything is meant to come apart. Everything's adjustable if necessary. There's nothing that's fixed in here. I used a lot of hose clamps to provide uh, staging for the different levels. Down here is my neat little transmission. I got a 60 RPM motor, DC 12 volt, or sorry, 24 volts. I got a uh, insulator, universal joint. And then I have a 10 to one military if you can read that, it's a GN hardware from the Second World War, 10 to 1 gearbox, so now at 6 RPM, it goes through an insulator, which is a, another universal joint kind of thing, and that goes up to the bottom of the capacitor. This big horse capacitor here, this really big guy, is uh, about 40 revolutions from full to minimum capacity. So that's going to take about six minutes to go from one end to the other. I can use a stepper, I haven't got to that yet. But at this point, what I've got works pretty good. So I'm rather happy with it. We'll see just how well it tunes. In any case, we're just about ready to start putting all the plastic doors on, which will be uh, to enclose it, and then uh, that'll weatherproof it. So this is another installment on how it goes. We hope to get this up soon. Thanks. Bye.